Hi everybody, I hope all of you are doing great. Uh, first of all, before I start this video, many thanks for your feedback uh, on my last video. I do really appreciate that. In this video, we will just compare the performance between new Samsung Book 2 Pro 360 and the slimmest laptop Apple offers, which is MacBook Air with the M1 processor. Samsung laptop has Intel 12th gen i7 1240p processor which has intel xe graphics on the other hand macbook air has apple's m1 processor with eight cpu cores and eight gpu cores samsung laptop has 16 gb of ddr5 ram and apple has 8 gb of ram okay we're gonna start with the cinebench both laptops they are connected uh, with their chargers so we will do the first test with them plugged in and second test we will do on the battery and see if that will make any difference okay let's start both the uh, tests I will force forward this and I'll come back with the results okay uh, on both laptops multi-core test has been completed it was a 10 minutes test they were plugged in so let's see what is the score Okay, let's see the scores. Uh, on Apple, we have a multi-core score of 6,530. And let's see on Samsung. On Samsung, we have a multi-core score of 6,435. If you can see properly, 6,435. So it's not a big of a difference but apple m1 processor is faster in this test and uh, you can see at the bottom here as well so it's saying it's an apple m1 processor and if you come here and if you see here this is uh 12th gen core i7 1260p and this one have uh, 12 cores 16 thread processor okay now i'm gonna run the single core test on both laptops Again, both laptops are plugged in and let's see how they do. Okay, I have started test on both the laptops and I will be back as soon as this test is completed. Okay, both laptops have completed the test. It was a single core one. Uh, and both laptops again they were plugged in so let's see the score okay on apple we got a single core score of 1492 and the multi core is 6530 and let's see what's a samsung a samsung we got 1434 single core and 6435 multi-core so it's not much between them but uh, apple is definitely slightly faster and another thing i would like to mention here as soon as i started the test fans on samsung they kicked in on the other hand macbook uh, air does not have fans in it as far as the temperature is concerned both are slightly warm to the touch but uh, not very hot and uh, again yeah the samsung fans they kicked in as soon as started the test they were not loud but you certainly can hear them so on the other side macbook air does not have the fans so it was completely silent so if you want something which is completely silent and can give you good performance i think macbook air is the one to go for i'm gonna do the test again but this time i will unplug both the laptops and let's see if it does affect the cpu performance okay let's unplug apple and unplug samsung i'm gonna do the single core first and let's see if this does affect the performance on both the laptops I'll be back as soon as the test has been completed. This time I have conducted single core and multi core test unplugged. 
so let's see what the scores are okay on uh, apple macbook air we got a multi-core score 6611 so and a single core score is 1493 so on macbook air the score is a little bit better than when it was plugged in so let's see what the score is on samsung uh, we have a multi-core score of 6368 and a single score score of 1132 so multi-core score is kind of same when it was plugged in but single core score it has lost 300 points so on battery power definitely macbook air has performed better the good thing is it is giving you this performance without the fans the performance on samsung is not that bad especially the multi-core score hasn't changed that that much but when it comes to the single core score uh, it has suffered a bit so it has lost 300 points roughly approximately 300 points compared to when it was plugged in so yeah just keep that in mind uh, let's quickly check if i zoom out let's quickly check uh, the battery level okay battery level on samsung is uh, 85 percent it wasn't fully charged when i unplugged them and the uh, battery level on uh, macbook air is 83 percent so batteries i i will say they're kind of uh, similar so we have checked the cpus now let's do the gpu check obviously these laptops are not meant for gaming but they you can do casual gaming on these ones let's see how it performs on uh, battery then i will plug it in and see if we can if it can pick up the frame rate which i'll highly doubt because uh, these m1 chips they perform it doesn't matter if it's uh, the regular m1 m1 ultra or m1 max they kind of perform similar on battery and plugged in okay on the main page we are getting 41 frames uh, now it's showing 60 frames okay let's go in the settings video quality best look best looking uh, resolution 1680 by 1050 so we can't really get higher than that and apply okay let's start the game okay 35 frames 51 frames the game is actually looking quite good on this one i never tried uh, this game before on this laptop as uh, it's my daughter's laptop but uh, yeah it's looking quite good it's not bad okay as you can see in the corner that is still carrying on with the 60 frames uh let me just quickly plug it in and see if anything does improve yeah same 60 frames no difference 60 between it's just keeping it between 55 and uh, 60 frames Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Pretty, pretty impressive. Okay. Yeah, between 55 and 60 frames. Okay, let's check the Samsung laptop. Okay, we are getting 117 frames here on this screen. Uh, let me quick, just quickly change the check the settings. Uh, video setting. Let's change it to best looking, and uh, the resolution is a bit higher than what we were getting on MacBook Air. It's 1920 by 1080 true, 1080p resolution. But okay frame rates is again between it's a bit more than uh, macbook i think 71 72 frames and the resolution is a bit higher what we were getting on macbook i don't know the reason why it wasn't true uh, 1080p or more even though that panel has uh, a high resolution screen Maybe something to do with the the MacBook software. 
now we are getting 59 frames uh, it's going to be hard for you to see on a camera it's right in the corner the small frames i didn't download fraps i'm just using the frame counter in the steam okay 57 58 let's go there the screen is very vibrant very vibrant screen if it if this laptop has had the 120 hertz screen or 144 it would have been great for gaming not the, obviously not the triple a titles but uh, overwatch or fortnite you can easily play on this laptop let's plug it in and see if the frame rate improves okay i have turned on the performance mode now uh, but i could not find any settings where, where i can control the fan speed i was looking for something where i can control the fan speed manually but it's not the fans are on even performance mode they're not very loud yet the frame rate rate at the moment i'm getting uh, is 55 54 let's see when screen gets busy if you get the same frame rate or not but one thing is for sure that uh, this resolution is more than what we were getting on macbook air so obviously it's going to put more pressure on uh, gpu looks like the performance mode has made a difference it's still giving us 54 55 frames i'm going to look for another couple of minutes to see if it, it gets hot and uh, if it's going to affect the performance or not yes yeah, still 54 frames 50 frames it's still keeping above 50 so from 45 after changing to performance mode it is giving us consistent 50 frames which is not bad so i have chosen uh highest uh, graphic settings uh, for the game so this is the best looking graphics you can get uh, from the setting and it's on 1080p by the way it looks amazing it looks really good on a camera maybe it's uh, showing or not the full potential but uh, it, the colors are very vibrant the graphics are very nice performance i think is quite good uh, considering the size and the thinness of the laptop and the fan the fans they are not noisy even on a performance mode i'm playing game and uh, i think you can barely hear anything so it's it is warm but it's not hot these new i7 processors, the mid-range uh, P-series, 12th gen uh, processors, they are very close to M1. Uh, obviously, they draw higher power. That's why they get more warmer, more hotter compared to the M1 chip. This MacBook Air does come with a 35-watt charger. And the Samsung laptop does come with 65-watt charger. So this new processor, 12th gen processor, has... A tendency or potential or the limit to draw up to 65 watts on the other hand m1 it uh, comes with 35 watt charger and uh, that's i think it's uh, limit so obviously if it's taking less energy it's not gonna get that warm on the other hand whenever this processor need extra power it can draw uh, more energy and uh, because of higher wattage it will get a bit warmer that's why it does have the fans but uh, the fans are not loud again uh, you can barely hear them and uh, performance is good as well just one thing it does get a bit more warmer compared to uh, macbook air overall it comes to what software you use and uh, which ecosystem you are in if you got a samsung phone it's better you go with a galaxy book 2 pro or pro 360 like this one and uh, if you are if you have an iphone or you an apple ecosystem it doesn't make any sense to go uh, for a samsung laptop it's better to go with the apple's laptop uh, performance wise i think they're very close to each other obviously the samsung is uh, more portable they have squeezed a lot of power in this small chassis and uh, it's more stylish it's better looking it's more versatile uh, you you can, with the s pen when it comes to gaming i think it's uh, it doesn't make sense to go with the macbook air uh, not because of the power the m1 chip is quite powerful uh, possibly a bit more powerful than this new 12th gen i7 processor but the problem is the platform the mac os there are not many games available for mac os but on the other hand windows you have a large 
uh, selection from which you can choose the games it won't be able to play the AAA games as I said before in a higher setting maybe you'll be able to play them on 720p resolution with a low to medium settings but definitely not uh, in a higher setting but the games like Minecraft this Dota 2 uh, Fortnite you will be able to play easily at uh, 1080p but just keep in mind for the first person shooters uh, this screen is uh, uh, not the best because it's a 60 hertz screen so but yeah civilization dota you can you can play them you can play them you can enjoy indie games and the battery life is quite good you don't lose much performance when you play games on battery that's another plus point and uh, i think you 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 will be all right uh, for 3 to 4 hours playing games because obviously it's not going to give you 20 hours of battery life while you're playing game games uh, 3 to 4 hours roughly i think is uh, the maximum it will be it will do on uh, battery while playing games in next video i'll compare both these laptops for content creation and we'll see how they compare when it comes to editing videos and uh, color grading and how they handle different for video formats like h264 uh, h265 uh, or we'll also try 10-bit video 8-bit videos and uh, 8k raw so i know the macbook m1 processor can handle uh, one or a couple of streams of uh, 8k raw but uh, i'll see how these new 12th gen processors how do they perform and uh, will it go, will it be possible to do uh, video editing a uh, 4k and 8k on the go on battery so we'll see that and also we'll see how good the uh, decoders are on these uh, new 12th gen processors uh, even though this is not top of the range uh, 12th gen processor is a mid-range processor intel uh, has introduced for thin and light laptops so we'll see how good they are please do subscribe to the channels thumbs up if you want to know something else about this new laptop please do let me know and uh, i'll see you in the next video take care have a good day bye bye